PDP decides. PDP breaks silence on the plan to make Peter Obi its presidential aspirants to replace Atiku. Um, I greet everybody listening to us through this very channel. This is today's news. Thank you for giving us your listening ear. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for um, your ideas that you have been sharing with us. We are most grateful. Um, PDP, PDP. Yes, PDP, I will tell you, uh, is, uh, is already, um, you know, um, calculating and restructuring itself against 2027. Uh, Atiku as the as the party chairman and also as the presidential aspirant of the party uh, has also has also succumbed. He has succumbed, and um, he also wish that uh, Peter Obi should still become the party presidential aspirant, if that's what they want. You understand? <laughs> I tell you, if that happens, know that Trimble is a goner. L let's quickly check the content, my, my dear listeners. This is today's news. The People Democratic Party PDP National Working Committee NWC has firmly stated that it is not involved in any discussion regarding merging, fusion, or amalgamation with any other political entity. This assertion comes in response to speculations surrounding talks initiated by PDP's potentials. 2023 presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar about forming a coalition with Peter Obi of the Labour Party and political groups. Yonis Atanko, spokesperson for the now defunct Obi Dati Presidential Campaign Council, clarified that Peter Obi does not have any interest in merging for the sake of political power acquisition. Nonetheless, the PDP has expressed its willing to embrace back into its ranks members who had previously defected to other political parties. This stance was articulated by the PDP NWC following its 587 meeting held in Abuja. In a statement, Delivered by the PDP spokesperson Debu Ologunagba, it was emphasized while the PDP as a truly people's party extends an open investigation and invitation to all Nigerians, including former members who have sought political homes elsewhere, we will reaffirm that our party remains robust and capable of securing electoral victories through free, fair, and transparent processes in our nation. Okay. Um, if that be the case, I think everyone will now be left in their various parties as um, as 2027 approaches but uh, there is something that i know is uh we will, will likely be certain and that is peter Obi's plan uh merge to contest along with article yes because as it is a labor party is already um making plan for a new presidential aspirant so peter obi cannot just you know uh stay without contesting come 2027 so he has no choice than to return 
than to return back to PDP. That is his party, and that is where he left. So that is my own actually candid advice because even the Labour Party, they are not ready to give him that maximum support that he truly deserves. You get it. So, dear listeners out there, you've heard all that has happened. We would like to hear from you and also to know what's your opinion, what your take, and what's your advice on what has just been reviewed right away. Maybe it is a pleasure. Don't forget to leave down below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you